Hello everyone, welcome to FOC class 11. This video is part 4 of Java for class 11 IT information technology. Let us discuss what we will be studying today. These are the remaining components and out of these components we will be studying these three J radio button, J tech box and J combo box in this video. So let us start. First is J radio button. The radio buttons are used to provide the user several choices and allow him to select one of the choices. The radio buttons belong to a group allowing the user to select single option. So basically in radio button there is a group and out of that group the user can select only one and the choices are many but the user is able to select only one of them. If suppose the user has selected one and then he is also selecting the other option then the previous option will be deselected. But radio buttons occupy a lot of space. This is a disadvantage of radio buttons and that is why we have another options and other components also. So you have to remember this disadvantage of radio buttons that they occupy a lot of space. Let us see how to use radio button. You will go to the palette and then you have to select radio button. After selecting radio button from the palette, you have to place it on the J frame form. Here we have placed it. We can also resize it using these handlebars. These are the properties of J radio button that we have just selected. Now let us discuss about the property of J radio button. Background as we have already discussed, it sets the background color. Button group, this is a new property, let us discuss about it specifies the name of the group of button to which the J radio button belongs. As we have discussed in the introduction of J radio button that radio button belongs to a group. So basically that group is a group of button and this property which is named as button group property it specifies the name of the group of button to which this J radio button belongs. Then is property enabled font, foreground, label, text. We have discussed all these properties already. Selected. Sets the button as selected. If set to be true, default is false. So basically, if we set the property selected as true for any J radio button, then it will be selected. And if we set it false, then it will not be selected. And by default, this selected property is set to false. Now let us discuss about the methods of J radio button. Get text is selected, set text, set selected. We have already discussed about get text method and set text method. Let us discuss about is selected method. Returns true if the component is checked else returns false means if the component means which component J radio button if it is checked then it will return true and if it is not checked then it will return false. This is the syntax of is selected method. Then is set selected method checks true or unchecks the radio button means if it is true then it will check the radio button and if it is not true it is false then it will uncheck the radio button. This is the syntax for set selected method. Now J check box. J check box is a small box like component that is either marked or unmarked. 
when it is clicked it changes from checked to unchecked or vice versa automatically so basically as its name is suggesting check box means there is a box and we will check it and if we again click it then it will get unchecked so it is used to mark or unmark so whenever we want to check any option means if suppose in an option it is written you are literate and second option is written you are illiterate and if you want to check the option you are literate then you will click on that option so it will get checked this was an example and if we click the check check box then it will get unchecked and if we uh, uncheck box then it will be checked to use this check box you will go to the palette and select the option check box then you will drag the check box to the form as you can see here we have dragged the check box to the form here are some properties of j check box we will be studying some of them as given in your book background sets the background color as we have already discussed background property foreground property these are used to set the background and foreground color respectively then is button group specifies the name of the group of button to which the check box belong means there is a group of check box also so this button group property specifies the name of the group of button then font it will set the font label and text they will set the display text selected sets the check box as selected if set to be true default is false so basically in check box we do select or we do not select it there are only two options so if we have set it true then it will be checked and if we have selected false then it will not be Check. Now are some methods of J check box. Get text is selected. Set text. Set selected. These all are uh, same as J radio button. Let us have a quick review. Get text. It will retrieve the text typed in the check box. Is selected. returns true if component is checked else return false if the component is true or we can say if it is checked then it will return true else it will return false then set text changes the display text at run time means at run time it will change the display text then set selected checks or unchecks the check box if it will be true then it will be checked and if it will be false then it would be unchecked you can also remember that get text is selected these are getter methods and set text set selected these all are setters method now j combo box j combo box is like a drop down box you can click a drop down arrow and select an option from a list so as its name is suggesting combo means it will have a combination combination of what it will also have a drop down menu we will click on the drop down arrow and we will select an option from a list so there is a drop down menu and there is a list let us see how to select it first of all go to palette then select combo box then drag your combo box to the frame as you can see here this item 1 and here is an arrow when you click on arrow the list will be displayed and you can select any option from the list these are some of the properties of combo box let us discuss about some of them as given in your book 
now let us discuss about the property of j combo box first is background property it will set the background color of the combo box then is button group property it specifies the name of the group of button to which the j combo box belongs j combo box also belongs to a group of button and to which it belongs this name will be specified by the button group property then is editable property if set true user can add it combo box default is true means if we have set the editable property to be true then the user will be able to add it the combo box and if the editable property is set to false then the user cannot edit combo box by default editable property is true enabled contains enabled state of component true if enabled else false as its name is suggesting it is used to enable the component so if the component is enabled then it is true and if the component is not enabled then the enabled property is false then is font property it sets the font then is foreground property sets the foreground color means foreground property is used to set the foreground color of the j combo box then is model property contains the values to be displayed in the combo box so the all the values that will be displayed in the combo box they are contained in the model property then text it will set the display text selected index selected item these two are important properties of combo box selected index it sets the index number of the element which should be selected by default means if we have selected any element then its index number is set by the selected index property selected item it sets the selected item in the combo box selected item and selected index are in synchronization with each other means this property selected item property it will set the selected item and these two selected index and selected item work together or you can say simultaneously now let us discuss about methods of j combo box get selected item retries the selected item get selected item is a getter method so it will retrieve the information which information it will retrieve the selected item this is the syntax of this method then is get selected index it is also a getter method so it will also retrieve information information of what information of index of selected item and this is the syntax of get selected index method then is set model this method is used to set the data model that the combo box uses to get its list of elements means this method will set the data model according to which the combo box will use to get its list of elements all the elements in the list their data model is set by the set model method this is the syntax of set model method thank you that was all for today i hope this video was helpful for you there are few remaining components which we will be covering in next video if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment box or message us on telegram app we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye